Hello everyone. This brief video provides essential information about the course structure, including where to locate assigned readings and where to submit your work. Now, this particular example that you're looking at in this video probably doesn't look exactly like the course you're taking. That's okay. The same principles of course navigation apply. Now, here we are on the course homepage. The course homepage is going to provide uh, some really important information right up front, so you want to be sure to pay attention to it. Um, but the heart of the course, really the heart of the course, is over here in the modules link. So let's click on modules. So if you ever get lost, go to the modules, right? And the reason that's so important is the entire term, the entire semester, is laid out for you from top to bottom, almost like a calendar. You will find everything you need to be successful in this course, aside from a textbook, in the modules. So again, if you get lost, go to the modules. Um, what you want to do here is before trying to complete anything else, make sure that you complete all of the introduction and orientation exercises. These are going to give you the tools that you need to be successful in this course. So please don't skip anything in the first week of work um, with these introduction and orientation exercises. Um, but let's say uh, we just want to try and understand how a typical week works in this course. If it's uh, a normal week in the class and you want to get to work on your history assignments, you've got to do the reading. So you're probably wondering, okay, where's the reading? Where are the assignments I've got to do? As I said, every week in the entire term is already laid out for you. And for the most part, each week has a similar structure. So once you get the hang of it, it's going to be very easy to navigate. But let's take a typical week, say week three. Okay, what's in here? You're gonna, gonna go in and the very first uh, module, um, the page in this module is always going to be tasks. And basically this is gonna do a bunch of things that are important. It's gonna lay out for you um, not only the tasks that you need to complete that week uh, as clearly as I possibly could, I just list them. Here's what you've gotta do. Uh, here's when it's got to be done by, and then uh, perhaps most important, up here, it says review the week's essential questions carefully and complete the assigned reading. Okay, so this page is always going to tell you uh, what the reading is, textbook reading, and it lays it out for you right here. And then you'll see these questions, question one, question two, question three, question four. And you might be wondering, well, what are those? Well, historians answer questions about the past. So for this particular topic, in this example, it's settlement. These are the four questions uh, we're going to be addressing about English settlement in the new world. And it's really important uh, to not skip the reading or skip the questions because they go together. You might be wondering why. Well, think of it this way. Um, why do you do the reading? Just because, you know, your teacher tells you to. That's um, that's not a lot of motivation to get the work done, right? No, the point of the reading is to find evidence, to find information that will help you to answer these questions. So what you want to do before you get any reading done, always start with the questions. Make sure you understand what the questions are asking. If you don't understand what the questions are asking, text me and ask me. That's my job. I'm here to help you, right? So. Make sure you know what the questions are asking and then get the reading done. And as you do the reading, why are you, why are you doing the reading? What is it for? You're looking for information, for evidence that will help you to answer these questions. And so that's, uh, that's the, the core of what you need to know because once you get to this point in each week, you can simply follow the instructions that are laid out here and you click your way through uh, each page for each module, which is, they're normally no more than four or five pages, so they're not very complicated. And once you figure out, you know, once you get the hang of how things are structured, 
this course is going to be very easy uh, to navigate. And the reason for that, I wanted to keep things as simple as possible so that we can focus on the content, so that we can focus on the history and not constantly having to learn new assignments, new instructions every week, right? So every week is, is laid out uh, pretty, pretty similar. And, but if you run into any questions, if you have trouble, difficulties, please do not hesitate to contact me. You can text me. I will do my best to get right back to you.